Have you ever wondered why you get blowouts on tires, trucks, trailers, or anything? This is Shane here with ROA Off-Road and welcome to another Wondering Wednesday. Today, I wanna to talk about tires and the most common reason why you're gonna get blowouts. A lot of people might think, oh, a blowout is because you hit a nail or a piece of glass or some object, right? That's actually not the most common reason why you're gonna have a tire explode on you or a blowout of some kind. A nail in your tire most likely is just gonna make your tire go flat. Now, if you're driving on the tire when it goes flat, you might have a blowout. So the most common reason why you're going to have a blowout on a trailer tire or a truck tire, any type of tire, is going to be improper uh, pressure, that's your PSI, uh, overheated tires, if your tires get too hot, they could have a blowout, which also might be because of the pressure not being properly set. And the other reason would be age or tire rot. Uh, what is age or tire rot? Or wait, age? What do you mean about age? So tires actually have an expiration date, just like milk in your refrigerator. Luckily, it's a little bit longer than milk. Now, I won't tell you when tires usually expire, but you know, they can be anywhere from four to six or seven years. It depends on the manufacturer and some manufacturers will recommend different things on changing out tires, no matter the condition. I have picked up trailers that had eight year old tires and there was no cracking, there was no dry rotting, there were no flat spots on them. And I thought they were perfect and I drove them home and they blew, I had blowouts. And it was simply because of the age, they had expired and they start to rot and deteriorate. Even on the inside, you don't always see it. So let me just point out a few things on a tire that you're gonna wanna look for when you're uh, going to be buying a trailer. First off, this right here says DOT and then there's some letters and you can ignore all the letters. You wanna go over past the DOT to this little four digit number and it's kind of circled in right here. It's stamped on right here. And this four digit number says 4321. So what does that mean? That means this tire was manufactured or made the 43rd week of 2021. So um, we're now sitting the first of 2023 so these tires are, you know, a year and a half old, right? So I'm totally fine. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are like, wow, it seems like these tires are going to last forever. Well, typically car tires, you'll run the tread out before the expiration. But that's not the case with trailers because trailers don't get used as much. So on a trailer, more often the tire date will expire before the tread will be worn out to its to needing to be replaced. So right there on a trailer tire, you're always gonna wanna check the date, if, especially if you're buying used. Um, the next thing you wanna check is what load range is it? So this is a load range E, right? And some manufacturers will put load range C tires on their trailers. And so if you come here, you can see single axle or dual axle, and it will tell you this tire is rated for 3,185 pounds. It's a load range E. Right? So if you have four tires, that's, that's uh, 3,000 times four. If your trailer is weighs more than that or you have more gear in it, then you're in trouble, right? If you have a big trailer and your trailer tires are only rated up to you know 9,000 combined weight and your trailer's 10,000 pounds, you're gonna potentially have a blowout. Um, the next thing you wanna always check at is your PSI. And typically you wanna be running PSI close to your max PSI rating, cold, what it says right there. So this says 65 on a trailer, you're gonna usually wanna run that max PSI. And the reason is because the PSI, the rating is according to the PSI, right? So this is 3,185 pounds at 65 PSI. So if you drop it down to 60 PSI, the rating also drops. So you no longer have that 3000 pounds rating, it's gonna drop a little bit. And every time the tire pressure goes lower and lower, the, the rating of the tire essentially becomes weaker and weaker. And that's what's gonna cause a blowout more often than not. So, you know, checking your PSI, making sure the tire is rated for the proper, um, for the trailer itself, and then also checking the dates. Those are probably the most important things you're gonna check on your trailer. Um, the best thing, and we're sitting in front of a Romer one, the best thing is to get a tire pressure monitoring system. Um, on the Romer one, that comes standard. You know, on our pauses by Palomino, those come standard, because this is the number one reason for tire blowouts is improper tire pressure, 
because the tire is not running at its proper pressure, the weight has reduced, and your potential for a blowout with too much weight on that tire. So in case you were wondering what causes blowouts more than anything else, it really comes down to the PSI and making sure it's not too old. So thank you for watching. If you're wondering anything else, you can go check out our playlist. We got lots of Wondering Wednesday videos out there. You can learn everything about the RV industry, overlanding or our trailers, and these come in a very short bite-sized content. So thanks for watching. You wanna see full tour and depth stuff, go to our full tours on Sunday. We send those out and you can get tons of detail there. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later, bye-bye.